This is a historic day for Penn State. In February of this year, Eric Barron announced his intention to retire when his contract uh, ends on June 30th, 2022. At that time, the Board of Trustees, with input from the Penn State community, began an inspired search to find the next great leader for Penn State. Our process was thorough and thoughtful and resulted in a leader poised to further build upon our university's esteemed legacy. It is with tremendous pleasure that I share the news that earlier this morning, in a special meeting of the Board of Trustees, we voted to confirm that Dr. Neely Bendapudi will be Penn State's 19th president. Dr. Bendapudi was recommended by the Presidential Recruitment and Search Committee following an extensive search and screening process. Her selection was approved unanimously by the Board of Trustees. Dr. Bendapudi is the president of the University of Louisville and has nearly 30 years of experience in higher education. She earned her PhD in marketing from the University of Kansas and has teaching experience at Texas A&M University and Ohio State University. Dr. Bendapudi returned to the University of Kansas to become the School of Business Dean and the H.D. Price Professor of Business. During her career, she has taught at the undergraduate MBA, executive MBA, and PhD levels and received numerous college, university, and national teaching awards. With a focus on collaboration and development, Dr. Bendapudi has dedicated her career to creating opportunities for students, faculty, and staff to thrive. From her previous university roles, Neely brings significant experience in the areas of healthcare and academic medicine. She is a widely published researcher in the art and science of the consumer experience, and she has extensive experience in the private sector as a bank executive and a consultant for some of the world's largest companies, including Bank of New York Mellon, Deloitte & Touche, and Procter & Gamble. Her list of accomplishments, leadership skills, dedication to academia, and students and pioneering contributions speak for themselves. Beyond these accomplishments, Neely Bendapudi is a values-driven leader with a reputation for integrity and inclusion. She has shown an ability to develop and articulate a clear and compelling vision for success. She has also demonstrated that she can mobilize support and resources for students, faculty, staff, alumni, and donors, and the broader university community. And, importantly, she is highly invested in student success believing that great public universities must achieve access and affordability goals and prepare students from all segments of society for success in life and careers. She truly embodies the commitment to Penn State's land-grant mission. She is a steadfast believer in lifelong learning and the importance of education in society. With this appointment, we are proud to achieve several historic firsts. Dr. Bendapudi will serve as the most diverse president in Penn State's history. Lastly, we have been honored to get to know Neely personally through this recruitment journey. And in addition to her stellar credentials, she is a fantastic person. Her family is incredibly important to her, and they are here with us today. And we welcome them to our over 800,000 person strong Penn State family. We owe our appreciation and dedication uh, to a driven group of individuals, including faculty, staff, students, and trustee representatives who led this search as part of the Presidential Recruitment and Selection Committee. In addition, thank you to the many Penn State community members and alumni who made important contributions and participated through this important process. We also owe sincere appreciation to President Barron for his incredible work over the last seven years. He has contributed greatly in making Penn State an outstanding university, the university that it is today, the university that we build from from this moment forward. And now, we share a We Are Penn State warm welcome to Dr. Neely Bendapudi as the next visionary leader of this world-class institution, a leader who will build on the outstanding work of our students, faculty, and staff across the Commonwealth. I'm pleased to introduce President-elect Dr. Neely Bendapudi, who will now share some brief remarks. Neely? Thank you. Thank you so much, Chairman Schuyler, and thank you to the entire Penn State community. Thank you to the Next Gen Penn State Advisory Group, the Search Committee, and every one of the members of the Board of Trustees. To be selected as Penn State's 19th President is truly the honor of a lifetime. Uh, as you heard, my family is here with me today, and I'm so grateful that they can share in this moment. 
I do value family above all. And I cannot tell you how many times I heard the word family referring to the Penn State community. I am honored to be part of the 800,000 plus Penn State family. We have been overwhelmed by the generosity, the enthusiastic welcome, the attention to detail that everyone has shown throughout the search process. As you've heard, I have spent nearly 30 years in higher education, including at a sister Big Ten University. Over the years, through all of these experiences, I've heard quite a bit about Penn State's we are spirit. But I can tell you, coming here and seeing it in action, there's nothing like it. Uh, the passion, the pride, and the genuine warmth that each of you has exhibited, I will always cherish. It's a wonderful feeling to know that I'm joining such a special community. I cannot wait to visit our Commonwealth campuses because I love the fact that Penn State's reach is across the entire Commonwealth. I'm looking forward to meeting our community members and our alumni. These thoughts and ideas from the Penn State community will be critical as we work together to shape the future of Penn State. And as Chairman Schuyler alluded to it, I do want to acknowledge the fact that this is a historic appointment for Penn State. I'm very humbled and honored and privileged to acknowledge that I'm the first woman and the first person of color to lead Penn State. As my family will tell you, I am pretty competitive and I'd love to be first. I do recognize the appointment's symbolic value, but to me, what I truly hope it does is that it inspires others to pursue the highest office in their chosen field, no matter who they are. And from what I have learned, that is the we are spirit of Penn State, that no matter who you are, when you come here, you are part of the we are Penn State family. But I also know that my tenure as president will be judged on my vision and my ability to advance excellence for every single Penn Stater. This is an amazing institution with a long and storied history. But like every institution of higher education, I know we will face significant challenges ahead. Whether it's the shifting demographics, the challenges of, issue, of uh, access and affordability, different delivery modes, or what public attitudes are towards higher education. The good news is Penn State is better prepared to weather those challenges than most institutions. And I'm grateful to President Barron for putting us in such a good spot. We must continue to innovate though. We can never be complacent. We need to move forward and we need to do that work together as one Penn State community. So I'm hoping to continue my laser focus on collaboration and inclusive excellence. Inclusive excellence, it's not just a nice to have, it is imperative for us to be successful. And I will always focus on people. I am grateful that I've had the opportunity to create environments for students, faculty, staff to thrive, and I hope to continue that quest here. I know you have many questions, so I'll finish up by saying, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This is truly the honor of a lifetime to be the president of Penn State. Thank you. Wonderful.